Did you catch this catch last weekend on Lake Okeechobee? Major League Fishing opened its 2024 season with a bass fishing tournament on the water, the Toyota Series. Fox 4's Austin Sugarowski reports in the area there from Fort Myers Shores all the way east of Clewiston where this took place took it all in. We bring this up as nearly 200 anglers look to bring home stacks and stacks of cash last weekend or even a new boat from the prize pool. Jesse Mizell from Mayaka City caught a total of 15 fish for more than 72 pounds. That's terrific bass and good for $44,000 in the purse. So for people who were wetting a line to try to hole in first place, including anglers from places like Canada, even Spain, as they spent the entire weekend in Clewiston. Here's why I find this so wonderful. It's easy for so many of us to get caught up in our own world here in Southwest Florida. We fall into our own routines and they can be our routines. They can be the best routines. I walk the same stretch of Fort Myers Beach two, maybe three times a week if I'm really lucky or I have the time. Yet as more people come here to live, this can also mean more new things to do outside to break out of the cycle of what we like to do. And I do recognize that when you live in paradise, as we all do, I mean, look at this guy. Why mess with happy? But this also brings me to the new soccer team in Naples. Late last month, United Soccer League awarded the expansion team to Naples. USL Naples will start playing right here at the Paradise Coast Sports Complex starting for the 2025 season. This is high level soccer. It is under the levels of MLS teams like we see in Orlando and Miami or the USL Championship like Tampa Bay. Naples is in a league lower than this, but it is a team here in Southwest Florida, and this will be high quality play. I spent nine years as a sports anchor long before I moved into news in 2005 in cities like Madison, Duluth, Topeka. I covered so many minor league teams there, baseball, hockey, soccer, some indoor football, and just about all these teams lost money, and nearly all of them eventually moved or just stopped. And as someone who loves watching soccer as a kid, I hope USL Naples will make it. But this is a case where, like a new restaurant or a new attraction, people who say they want it still need to go support it to make it thrive. It's going to be like this for a new soccer club or a fishing tournament or a new restaurant or an art exhibit. These are the events that make up our schedule here in Southwest Florida. And as more and more people come here, more options, more choices for our disposable income and whatever free time some of us might have. So. For any entity to thrive, whether it's sports, arts, cuisine, it needs people, Floridians like us, to make the time and not just enjoy our great sunsets, but to make the time and the effort to show up and enjoy what's new.